country and we the people on UST Party Radio. Welcome back to UST Party Radio. God, country, and we the people with Kaz Taylor and Bill Gruber. Mel- Melanie uh, Morgan is a San Francisco radio host, and she's involved with an organization called WarriorsForCongress.com. Melanie, good to have you. Hey, thanks for having me. It's really exciting to be with you guys today, Kaz. It's, it's our pleasure. So, uh, uh, Mr. DeVore got sidetracked, eh? Yeah, he's actually on the on the legislative um, floor right now. There was a vote that uh, came up unexpectedly, and he asked uh, to please deliver his personal apology for missing this interview. He was looking forward to it. But uh, I'm more than happy to be here and, and sing the praises of Mr. DeVore because um, I happen to be um, a, a person who spent the last uh, eight years of my life devoted towards the idea that uh, military men and women are exceptionally strong leaders. And at this time uh, in the, of crisis in our country, um, we need to um, support the men and women who have actually put their lives on the line for us, both on the border um, and in conflict in a war in Iraq and in Afghanistan. As and Chuck has been involved in global co- conflicts around the world. In fact, he's a lieutenant colonel um, in the uh, Army National Guard. So he's extraordinarily qualified um, to become um, the next United States senator and unseat one of the most liberal individuals <laughs> in the history. Preach it, lady. Preach it, lady. That's right. And we're talking about three candidates, Carly. Uh, the Republican. The no, Republican either. candidates, right. Mm-hmm. Carly Fiorina. Right. And, and Chuck and Tom Campbell. And, and of the three, Chuck really is not afraid to stand up and, and take a position and, and doesn't kind of go where the wind blows. You know, he, you you know, know he, that. that's absolutely true. Um, first of all, you know, Tom Campbell uh, has, has said it himself, and I'm not, um, I'm not speaking ill of a fellow Republican. He is the most moderate individual in the race. And he's proud of that. Um, he's he's pro abortion, pro gay rights. Um, uh, he claims to be a fiscal conservative, but he's actually voted any number of times to raise taxes. Um, and Carly Fiorina just simply doesn't have a track record other than laying off thirty thousand people from Hewlett Packard um, as a CEO. Chuck DeVore has been in the California Assembly for over fourteen years now and has um, a, a, a proven over and over again and taken some really big personal hits because he has refused to support a single tax increase and he has also refused to, re- uh, to support any Republican leader um, in the California Assembly uh, who has supported a tax increase. And he lost his leadership position um, as a result of that. So if you want to talk about principles, this is the guy who has them. Very good. We're talking with Melanie Morgan, uh, San Francisco uh, radio talk show host, and also tied in with the WarriorsForCongress.com. You know, we had an opportunity to kind of stroll past some Rasmussen reports, and uh, a an mid-April uh, survey taken of 500 likely voters held that actually the race from the Republican side versus Box was uh, you know each one of the uh, candidates uh, uh, were in, in a, could be in a tight race depending on which one of the three was selected. Um, ha- have those numbers changed since uh, mid-April? Well, basically the numbers on the Rasmussen poll showed that any one of the three candidates could beat Barbara Boxer. Yes. That's how vulnerable she is. Well, and and what is actually happening is that here in California, people. Um, are starting to coalesce around Chuck DeVore because they realize that he is the conservative. And this is our moment in time, folks. You know this. I mean, the wind is at our back. If, if you are a conservative and if you articulate Tea Party principles, uh, then you can't be for anybody other than Chuck DeVore um, in the state of California, and you need to help out um, however you can because uh, if we don't, we have some serious consequences coming down the road, and I don't like the way our country is going, and I don't like the fact um, that the Democrats in charge who've had their way have upped the budget four times the amount from the previous year. The deficit is now four times larger than it was one year ago. Uh, you know, we have got to get some people into office um, who know how to say no and who know how to stop this kind of behavior. So let's assume Chuck uh, does become the Republican uh, challenger to uh, Barbara Boxer. What, what issues will he use to engage her? No question that the hot issues of the day right now in our state is illegal immigration. Right. And in fact, um, Chuck is going to be down on the border in about a week from now, um, and he's going. He's been endorsed by the sheriff down there, Sheriff Papu, um, who um, lost a, a, an agent who was shot dead by car, drug cartel members. Um, Chuck has been the one who has devised the plan to tighten up the border. 
Um, this is a huge thing. Um, you know, I, the jobs um, issue is huge. The economy stupid, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Barbara Boxer has been in charge of, of voting for deficit spending until, um, you know, we're bleeding out of our eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I don't yeah. think she really gets that. She but... doesn't get any of us. She mm -hmm. doesn't have, she doesn't understand who we are and could frankly give a damn about any of us. So, yes. you know, I'm not surprised. Well, let me, let me back up just a little bit here, Melanie Morgan. I want to talk a little bit about this three-way uh, Republican race right now and and do you think that the message to the Tea Party years in California is strong enough so that they realize that that uh, Chuck DeVore is the uh, nominee of choice? And do you think that's enough to uh, leverage him into that position as the Republican candidate? Excellent, excellent question. And as a matter of fact, I just got word late last night um, that the Tea Party folks in California have done a survey. Who've, uh, they pulled their their own membership. And it's a large sample size, from what I understand. It's a huge sample size. Um, from what I was told, it could have been up to 10,000 people. And Chuck DeVore came in first. Um, he he won that uh, that that survey. Uh, and so yes, now people are finally getting getting the idea that uh, we do have a conservative in the race, and that if we don't get him elected, we're all. Uh, going to be stuck with with Arnold Schwarzenegger light in the yeah. U.S. Senate position. <laughs> you know, you wonder how you wonder how a conservative can actually win California. Uh, you, it's it's so, so historically been a liberal state and continues to be so, particularly with the Hollywood influence. You wonder how a, a conservative can win the state. Yeah, you, you know that's true. Um, we have uh, d the decline to state numbers have gone up dramatically. Um, and we're outnumbered by by Democrats by almost a two to one margin in some places in the state in the l a area um, but that is starting to change. Um, there is a real anger and there is a real disgust with the democratic leadership in the state of California because they've taken this state, which is nicknamed the Golden State, and yep. flushed it down the toilet. Yep. I mean, we have problems here we're sixty billion dollars in debt um, we were virtually bankrupt, and who's in charge? It's all Democrats. They're yeah. the ones who, who, who are aligned with the special interests, who are pushing an agenda um, where, you know, the firefighters and union members and others are making two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars a year, whereas people in the private economy aren't even making anywhere close to that. And the foreclosure rate is uh, through the roof. You know, it's got to change, and, and everybody here knows who's responsible for it because they're the ones who have, frankly, been in charge forever. I have a feeling that there's some covert uh, conservatives out there that may even be uh, what you call blue dog Democrat. Democrats that may be a little upset with the way things are going, and they know in their heart of hearts that a Barbara Boxer is really the wrong solution? Yes, and, I, and let me just say that um, change is possible here, and I know this firsthand because I've been nicknamed um, the mother of the recall. In fact, the, the recall of um, former California Governor Gray Davis started on my radio program, and I worked um, with the grassroots uh, and talk radio up and down the state back in 2004, and we did remove a Democrat um, in a hugely Democrat state, um, and a Republican was elected. Unfortunately, it wasn't the right Republican yeah. um, that we wanted, but uh, it, there was change. It, it was shocked everybody. Um, it became a huge national story, so it can happen. But we've got to have the Tea Party folks, um, you know, helping us out at every opportunity, and and. Really, if we don't do it now, I think we're squandering um, our chance to reclaim the country. Yes. Okay. Wise words of wisdom from you in light of what a Tea Party person can do. We've got about one minute, and you know all about that as a radio person. Before <laughs> I hard certainly break. do. If, if you can, please go over to ChuckDevore.com. Or you can donate through our uh, political action committee, warriorsforcongress.com. Um, but we would love it if you could sign up um, and, and help us however you can, whether it's a donation, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five thousand dollars, whatever yes. you can afford. That's right. You and know, we, we need the help and we need it right now. And we can do this. We can do this. My yes, listening yeah. friend, we can do this. We will. Do this. We will do this. Exactly. We will do this. Thank you, Tony Morgan, Warriors for uh, Congress dot com, and uh, the Chuck Devore race. It's going to be a real challenging race, but my listening friend, we will do this. This is Tea Party Radio here yes. on WSRadio dot com, the worldwide leader in internet talk.